How you doing everyone? It's your old pal Jim here and we're back with more Kona. Now when we last left off, we got to the doctor's office and uh, well, we've just been investigating the place. Oh, I didn't open the doctor's bag because it's not an option, that's why. But we were going to look into this journal. Communist, communist, mani communist manifesto. Oh. Only a few years ago, this type of allegiance meant prison time. And even at present, the Western world was very wary of the Soviet threat. Why would the doctor own such a book? Oh dear. Nobody kills a rich patient to start a revolution. It didn't make any sense. Yeah. He had to dig deeper still to understand. Luckily, that was Carl Faubert's specialty. Carl's maybe, but not mine. <laughs> As we can plainly remember from me being stuck in the, in the general store. The history of all Helterto existing society uh, is the history of class struggles. Freeman and slave, patrician, patrician and plebeian, lord and serf, guildmaster and journeyman, in a word, oppressor and oppressed, stood in constant opposition to one another, carried on an inter uninterrupted, now hidden, now open fight, a fight that each time ended either in a revolutionary reconstitution of society at, a, at large, or in the common ruin of the contending classes. In the earlier epochs of history, we find almost everywhere a complicated arrangement of society into various orders, a manifold graduation, gradu, gradu, uh, <laughs> gradation of social rank. In ancient Rome, we have patricians, knights, plebeians, slaves in the Middle Ages, feudal lords, vassals, guildmasters, journeymen, apprentices, serfs, and almost all of these classes, again, subordinate gradations. Do I, do I really want to read more? Oh good, I don't have to read more. Okay, alright, well I picked it up. Sucks. A chamber pot. Fortunately for Carl, inspecting it wouldn't further this particular investigation. Eh, I don't know what that is, but it sounds like bad news. Painkillers. Dr. Bopere had done his medical studies quite far from here. He was surely one of the first students out of the new campus to settle on the mountainside. Okay, I think I fully investigated this place. The only part that I couldn't effectively investigate was, um, was this. Because it's been boarded shut. But why? That's my phone. I should probably turn it off. I should probably... Oh, log. Actually, yeah, let's do that so this can be a mini refuge. Aha! Oh, wow. And it uses up a log, too. There we go. Get our fire going. Get warmed up. And then as soon as I am ready, which may as well be now... I'm going to go ahead and investigate the outside. can't believe he left this key on the, uh, on the mail thing, in, in his mailbox. Oh, more wolves. Oh, yeah, they were dipping into the trash can. Is there anything of note out here? Oh, ho! Lantern. Aha, uh -huh, I'll pick me up a lantern. What's in here? Is this where he would like keep the wood and stuff? Because he's not doing it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, wait. Oh. What the heck? Then what's the other door for? <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Please use other door. Interesting. Okay. I mean, is that literally everything that I could find? I thought there was something on the other side. But in reality... In reality, there's nothing else left in here. But there's something that I could do. Attach wire. I need a magnet for that. Is there a magnet laying around somewhere? I am not turning on that radio again. <laughs> I did that mistake once. I ain't doing it again. 
Carl got to trembles as he imagined the excruciating pain that kind of scalpel could no doubt inflict. Yeah, well. Within these miserable walls, patients probably felt more like in a slaughterhouse than in a doctor's office. <sighs> I don't think there's anything else left for me. But then again, I don't have any more leads. Well, if I start to leave, the narrator is probably going to tell me, you know, where you're going. There's still more stuff that you can find in here. Rada, rada. Rada, 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 rada. So, I guess I'll leave even though I can make something here. Maybe this is the one thing that um, I find elsewhere and I have to think of it and come back here. Because there's literally nothing else for me here. I guess I just need to investigate the other addresses. Let me just take a look around his clinic one more time. Okay, I found duct tape, but that's not what I needed. <laughs> well, I'm not going far. I'm not going out there. Not if I don't have to. That's a scary place to go without being able to defend myself. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can defend myself with the crowbar, but I'm not gonna... I don't think I can do that for very long. Or if it's gonna be very effective. Carl felt like he knew the doctor now. His belongings had spoken lengths about him. But what Carl had heard worried him. Oh, okay. So, okay. Well, I guess that's alright. Then he's okay with me leaving. I like that the narrator sort of helps uh, pinpoint... Um, whether it's okay, whether you found everything in there or not. Can I look at the map from here? Oh, I guess not. <laughs> All right, let's check the map. All right, the map. Uh, I'm there right now. Okay, well, I guess I'll t I'll check the residence here. There were two residents on the way too. those bed things mean on the side? Maybe hotels? Well, either way, let's check on Old Razair. Yeah, let's check on Old Razair first. And then we'll go work, work our way down the road. Alright. Backing up. Back up. Oh boy. Oh boy. There we go. Alright. Let's go. I'm actually surprised that they let the uh, the game have Chevrolet, you know, completely on there. Probably because they're not damaging the car. It's just part of the movie, I guess. And the movie, I mean, <laughs> and part of the game. Oh, is this where she is? Let's not hit anything. Oh, uh, yep, that's where she is, I think. Load, damn you, load. Oh. Yep, there she is. Oh, jeez. That's a shed. Whoa! Well, let's double check that shed. It's a nice bit of a house here. Boom! Whoa, my okay, there is. Okay. <laughs> That's. Can I? Je m'attendais pas à ce qu'un étrange retentisse par ici. Moi te dire, je prends plus de chance depuis que ça rôde dans ce bout là. J'ai ma carabine au bout du doigt et puis bang, 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 si ça s'approche. <laughs> Uh, all right, so we do run into somebody. Can I talk to you again? Si tu veux du linge chaud parce que tu es habillé comme un gars de la ville, je dirais pas non à une bonne bouteille de caribou. Puis tu pigeras ce que tu voudras parmi mes guenilles. 
Oh. Trade caribou for coat. Guess I'm gonna have to go to the general store. Is he gonna shoot me if I look at his stuff? Hell not. Vois-tu le livre là? C'est le Wendigo. Ouais, le Wendigo. Un guerrier qui devient un loup pour se venger de sa grosse peine. It was a time when hate waged war. Our hunters could dis dis decimate the great wolves who had taken our children, our warriors. Our warriors could snap the necks of the cowards who had reached for our supplies. The deafening sound of rock and bone breaking was, breaking was enough to sa satiate the hate. That kind of rhymes. And He scares me. <laughs> Uh, then the rivers of blood would express our remorse and apologies. Thus was a balance maintained. Then came the whites. The legend of the Wendigo dates back to a time before what anyone but the tallest trees can remember. <laughs> a time of great cold and great aspirations. When the ships came and spewed men and their fire cannons, plagues and spinelessness. Balance broke forever. The dead were piling up on our ancestral lands. Too many bodies covered in moss. Too much blood spilled on our stone. Our, bro our bone breaking hate. Our <laughs> bone breaking hate did not suffice any longer. Oh, there's more. I'm not going to read that. Uh, There's too much to read. Go moi la belle rose la tulip. Qui se donne au yob sur le mercredi des I'm just glad that... How are you still alive out here? Can I open your stuff without shooting you? You know, I'm not gonna push my luck. Hey, la Corivo, batter. Ça te passe l'envie de te marier, la Corivo. A tué tous ces maris. Squeak, les uns après les autres. Pas de pitié dans le mariage. Okay, okay. That's food stuff. That's socks. Whoa. <laughs> that's a little new. Cause that's a bit. Alright, alright. I'm not doing that, sorry. Dans mon temps, c'était comme sur l'image. On était vrai, fier, fort, puis on avait le bon lieu de notre bord. But it's a bunch of people in a canoe type thing flying through the air. My goodness. That's a definitely a different time you lived in, Pops. I guess I need to get you the, um... Guess I'm gonna have to get him some caribou, right? Trade caribou for coat. And that's a drink, so I guess. I'll, I guess I'll, I'll be back. So I need a trade with him. In order to get something warm. At least it's good to know that there are actually people that are alive around here. I was starting to think that everyone was dead. Okay. Alright, that's good. That's good. Alright, so that's it for this guy. I'm probably going to investigate the other areas first. Then drop by the general store to get this guy a caribou. If I can find it there. I don't even know if for sure they have a caribou there. All I know is it would be super useful if I did that. Because, you know, having something warm to wear out in this storm is super important. Or at least there super. Carl had fed his mind, but had forgotten the harsh reality that his body also needed nourishment, especially in the dead of winter. Are you serious? I gotta feed Carl? I mean, it doesn't make sense, but... Ah, oh, jeez. I mean, am I even going the right way? Oh, let's just keep going to find out. <laughs> If I run into the doctor's office, I know I'm going the wrong way. I hope I don't die of starvation. That would suck. Ah, oh, jeez. All these twists and turns. Whoa! Hold that thought. We got a Polaroid. This thing over here. Um, the how do I? There we go. Equipment. Camera.
more footprints. Ugh. Oh, I can even look at it closer. Interesting. I'm keeping a picture. I'm keeping it. Oh, give me a second here. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Oh. Sorry about that. Had to adjust something back here. Okay, we're back here. Um, let's see. I just wanted to take a picture of that thing. Oh, good. Pleasant music waiting for me. Alright, let's get back up. Oh. Um, I guess this one is one. Oh, yeah, that's one. <laughs> at least, uh, I'm not at the edge of my seat as I thought. Oh. Oh, don't want to hit his car. So, there are people that are alive here. I, get, I, I know that much. There are people who are alive. Or at least one person. I don't know why I keep taking pictures of these things, but I'm pretty sure at some point it's going to prove to be vital. It's super duper important even. Or at least I'd like to think so. Polaroid! I hope you didn't throw it away, because I meant to say, keep that. Okay. Don't kill me! The Hello? place looked more like a pigsty than a house. A heavy stench of curdled milk, cheap alcohol, and boiled cauliflower filled the air. Okay, well, I guess... The rag not... reeked of fermented vomit. Ew. Carl wondered how one could bear to live in such gross and horrid conditions. Yeah, seriously, what the hell? Oh, there's a note. No, don't close on me, I'm not done yet. Back then, in Africa and elsewhere, people were ready to take up arms to stand against the yoke of English imperialism. In Montreal, mailboxes were blown up, abductions were carried out and violent manifestos were distributed to media outlets. But around here, in the great northernmost, all a man could do is curse out loud against a faraway evil and pray for the revolution to arise. That man, by any reckoning, was from that very stock. Quebec liberation will happen by force or not at all. Oh good. It's good to know that I'm in the house of someone who is, uh, I like how the soap is in the corner. <laughs> Um, someone who strikes me as a sensible individual. Why wash dishes when clean ones are within reach? Oh, jeez. Let's, uh, let's start this fire. No sense in freezing myself to death within a cabin. Yeah, look at that. And I think it helps my mental state, I think, too. So, it's always good to be warm. Opening stuff, checking them out. A gun rack. A gun rack. Okay. Huh. You had to be out of your mind to cook up white whiskey at home. The all surrounding stench of alcohol alone was probably enough to gas a man to death. Oh, I guess this is how I prepare the caribou. Guess this guy... Oh, hey. Carl now knew how to quench the drunkard's thirst. <laughs> White whiskey. Too much isn't a valid quantifier for that. Sherry wine for added mellowness. I guess I get that from the general store and then I come back. That makes sense. Gin fizz. Long Island iced tea. <laughs> Yeah, well, at least now I know what to do. Put those two in there and then prepare caribou. I was about to say coffee. Oh. Today, Jean Bluin. Seems like that pig had a name after all. 
Are you really taking his wallet? I'm pretty sure you should leave it the where it Rock was. Rock music invaded the minds of men even in the remotest of places. The man didn't own a turntable though, so there's that going for him. I wish I can get my dude to eat a tomato, because it was mentioned that he was hungry. Oh, drawers are overrated. Alright, um, let's check the map. How many more places do we have to go? Oh, just one more, but it's all the way down at the end. Okay, well, just because we went one person doesn't mean that he may very well be the only one alive. So what's over here? Oh, of course. He shoots at things. And this must be the outhouse? Oh. Thank you. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna go find anything over there. Ooh, what about over here? Can't jump over it. Can I take the axe? An axe. Not too shabby. Carl felt he needed to protect himself. Yeah. The crowbar wasn't going to do it. Oh! Well, that's a beer bottle. I don't know if that'll help me for sure. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Oh! Matches. Very good. And I think it's just... <laughs> I think it's just trash. That leads down to a lake. Ah! Okay, that doesn't do anything. Alright, so it's good to know I have a weapon for sure. Uh, a super duper weapon of high caliber, I would think. Can I investigate the car? That truck had obviously seen its share of gravel roads. Carl wasn't a mechanic, but he could easily tell that only the most heartfelt prayer would bring this old beater back from its slumber. With that cold, however, it was more likely that it would wait until next spring to wake up. Not bad, huh? Same kind of truck as I as mine, but you know. There's only so much you can do if you let your car waste away like that. Alright, back up. Whoa, yeah, don't Don't crash yourself in the ditch yet. You still have a little bit of investigation to go. Oh dear. Can I check the map in the car? <sighs> Thank God I can check the map in the car. Oh, I just gotta turn around. That's what I figured. <laughs> I like how the music just stops. Like, wait. Oops. I hit something, but that's okay. It's all good. It's all good. We'll build Ford Tough, even though we're Chevrolet. Because I don't understand a thing that everyone's saying because it's all in French. I mean, essentially, that's all I hear. Can't understand what they're saying. I'm sorry. Whoa. What have we got here? What is this? Benvenu. Is this a scrapyard or what is it? Sometimes, and especially around here, people are so possessive with their land as a dog is with hydrants. Huh. Here is a spark plug you ordered for your. I'm sliding down the slope. <laughs> ordered for your Olympic ski do. This model is being very popular, has made it difficult to find a brand new part as quickly as usual. Thank you for choosing the garage, Pivotin, and fills in Shabimagu. Sincerely, Gaitin Potvin. Does that mean I can take the package? I totally took the package. Mm, it looks like the wolves are trying to get in. Uh oh. Mm. 
Am I gonna regret this? Jeez. Oh, uh, uh, Lamotte's garage. Hello! Private investigator! Just here to explore and figure out, uh, get to the bottom of things. The man seemed what? petrified in ice. What Carl saw terrified him, and he didn't know if it was the fear or the cold that was responsible for his hair standing on end all over his body. What? The poor man, before being frozen solid, seemed to be defending the entrance to his cabin. Huh? But from what? I don't know, but I can't stay in here, I don't think. Oh, maybe I can. What the heck was he doing in here? Headlight? Right, so I can't stand in that stuff. Because apparently whatever it... Oh, man. What is going on? It was... <laughs> right, so I... Sometimes isn't sometimes something isn't right when your bed is your garage all right so i went from a um a murder investigation to something otherworldly oh my god the very Lie. first steps of man on the moon were made more than a year ago the event had surely captivated the mechanic's mind for him to still keep this around yeah i guess so I wonder if he was like making his own little, it looks like a little UFO type thing. Oh my God, is this gonna be extraterrestrial? That is a lot of whatever that is. We got anything useful over here? Oh, we got drawers. No, nothing useful. Okay, this has quickly gotten weird. And it looks like the only other alive person I would have... What did he have to deal with? The week of October 5th, thought Carl. That was this week. The plug should have been here by now. He did receive it. Right, let me get out of here. I can't get out. Oh. What is happening? Come on. Hello? Flashlight? Flashlight. What's going on? Huh. What is going on? What are you doing? Am I following his essence around or something? I gotta get warm in a second. I can't even see my thing. What happened? Oh. I was trying to get in. Stuff is breaking. What? Oh. Uh. What? Did he throw something in that bucket? Am I supposed to touch the hand? Oh boy! Something very important must have been in there for the man to take such time and effort to hide it. But Carl didn't know how to reach it. Was it which bucket was it? I think it was <laughs> it's the highest one, obviously. Well, I'll figure it out. Oh man, I'm so sorry. This is uh, bad. <laughs> this is very bad. 
Uh... Carl wondered how long he would have to endure this skin-stinging cold. Well, you're the one that put me in that situation. Oh, God, what is this? Hamilton, I won't be your dog anymore. I don't know, man. Snowmobile ski. Sorry. I hope nothing's in here that's gonna kill me because I gotta get warm. Oh, is, oh stove. Stove. Do I have a log? I need a log. That's what I need first of all. Oh, gee. <laughs> okay, so apparently some had him spooked. Hang on. I need I need wood. Ah, wood. Come on. Come on, here we go. Alright, put it in the thing. Okay, good, 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 good. Excellent. Alright. We're gonna be okay in here for now, anyway. Dear Mr. Lamont. Oh. At Amipec, same story. Large deserts conducive to extravagant follies. Dear Mr. Lamuth, following up on your complaint, I'm afraid that the police cannot support your claim alleging the sudden appearance of a quote unquote man who came from outer space on your village territory. Manifestly, what happened at Roswell in New Mexico left a deep impression on you, and we would urge you to consult with a physician as soon as possible. Regarding future potential complaints, let it be known that the Judicial District of Abitibidi does not believe in little green men. Regards, Pierre Valjean, Clerk, Secret, de oh, the Secret Service, I think. Oh, pardon me, folks. I had a little bit of a hiccup there. Um, yes. Uh, apparently little green men are a problem right now. Manufacturer's manual, page one. The suspension has way too many parts. <laughs> don't drink and work. Don't drink and work. Don't drink and work. I'm, I'm misplacing parts of the machine. I wonder if it's something that I can make. Weird stuff. Kind of a crossing between a colander and a hairdryer. What was it for? To play telepath? To protect against nuclear waves? I would say the latter. Oh my god, it's the thing he was building. If some daring person could manage to get their hands on the missing parts, Carl was willing to bet that the craft would have taken flight. I'm fairly sure Carl does not feel that way. Carl is not the sort of man. Stealing road signs is prohibited by law. And yet... This is starting to get weird. The man has a passion for intergalactic things. Back then, people were obviously scared of the Russian atomic bomb, but an invasion by extraterrestrials was a legit fear as well. Seems was it? like the mechanic had made his choice. <laughs> oh, jeez. This is starting to get awfully strange. Well, I'm warmed up again. Let's uh, explore this place. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah, he had a view. I took a bench. <laughs> I thought I was going to sit in it, but in reality, I was just going to take it. It's a snowmobile! By following the plan, Carl was led to believe that the snowmobile's parts had to be scattered about in the vicinity. I guess this is where he kept it? Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Oh. He's just dumping wood down the cliff just cuz. Fill up gas station. Okay, alright, well then. Well, at least I have something to look forward to. A snowmobile, quite possibly, if I can find the parts scattered around the place. But <laughs> I'm still trying to get over what just occurred. <laughs> Something very otherworldly, at the very least, occurred. In fact, actually, let me see if I can take a picture. Can't open it, but I can certainly at least take a picture of you. Uh, let's see. Inventory? No. Equipment. Camera. Gotta take it for evidence, my friend. Alright. 
Oh, jeez, the fridge. Uh oh. Well, that's generic hardware. Green milk for little green men? I'm pretty sure I don't want to know what's inside the green milk. Oh, good golly, Miss Molly. Okay. Uh, don't think there's much else that can help me here. Oh, yes there is! I need to take a quick look. Too many orange juice bottles. You can never have too much orange juice. At least in my opinion. Unused steel trap not to be touched. Well, I mean... Steel traps are rarely a good news. A good thing. Oh, oh. Plate. Alright, yeah, that's the same thing. That's just a... An, a, 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 an, ob an observation is what that was. Now, if I were the tire trads... Oh, oh I have all the parts for this. Uh, am I sure that's what I wanted to do? No matter flying saucer. It was an oh! indisputable fact that machines like this entailed a level of intellectual finesse that Carl was lacking. <laughs> Did I just fix it to break it? <laughs> what was the purpose of that even? Did I knock something loose? Did I gain something? Because it certainly doesn't seem that way. Did I knock that over at least? I did not. <laughs> I don't think there was a point to that. Great! It's good to know that, you know, it's good to know that this poor guy Put all of his effort into that, only to have it explode by some guy. Well, I mean, he's dead as far as I know. He is dead ski. Anything in here? Painkiller? The milk was sorted by color, from the whitest to the greenest, or in other words, from the freshest to the sourest. Thanks, narrator. That's what I figured, but it's good to know. It's good to have clarification on it. Is this. Nope. Nope. This uh, game started to become spooky and investigatory to both of those and otherworldly. And I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do with that. I didn't expect that while playing this game. Oh. Okay, now what? I'm missing the tire track. Okay. Well, I think I'll keep looking for the tire track the next time we do this. So I'm fairly sure it saved like not even a minute ago. And it's got to be somewhere here. The narrator usually does point me to the right way. And the narrator did say that uh, the stuff seemed, would be scattered around here. So I just, just a question of finding it and looking for it. Because I assume after I make it, I have to... Oh, wait a minute. What's back here? Oh, ho, ho. okay. Maybe let me do this before leaving. Okay. Now what? I fixed it. Oh, I'm getting cold. Wait a minute. Skis. Wait, I thought I, I saw the skis. Off. Okay, anyway, I'm just going to leave it here. I just need the skis. Let me warm pour this guy up first. Yep, there you go. He was getting pretty cold. So we just gotta find the skis and from the oh Carl deducted this was a map of the area. Were those pins pointing to places of interest? Oh dear. Alright, so anyway, uh I'm gonna take my leave from this here. Lots of stuff to figure out. Uh get the snow snowmobile running. I think the snowmobile is going to be very, I think if it's a usable vehicle, it's going to be super useful to get to these points. Because as you can plainly see, they're away from the road. They're off-road, if you will. And I don't know if I ought to investigate those or not. Um, I don't know how open, open world this is. Uh, it's pretty open. But I don't know if that has to do anything with the main 
campaign or not because first we're here to investigate a murder and then all of a sudden people are getting frozen there's an old man who wants uh, 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 alcohol uh, caribou is what he calls it and it's just a whole thing and I'm still trying <laughs> trying to ha wrap my head around everything okay so Kona is I don't know what to make of the game if anything I can say for sure I'm definitely intrigued and I'm gonna keep playing this for absolutely sure if you want to know when the next video comes out please subscribe to my YouTube over at Jim Knickerbocker and as always remember nothing ventured nothing gained <laughs>